From the way they deal with us, it seems many older gays and lesbians seem to stop learning about trans issues with Janice Raymond and the Transsexual Empire. I get so frustrated. As much as I get frustrated with trans people replacing, with trans people replacing stealth on some sort of pedestal, can you really blame them? During this time of pride, I wish some of these smug, self-satisfied gay and lesbian faces would open their eyes to the fact that their happy little world of defining themselves by their normative genitals and who they sleep with is outdated, exclusionary, and really offensive. <laughs> I expect younger queers to know better. Y'all were... Y'all cut your teeth on fine, uh, fine bird and stain. But the older ones, I wish they would look outside the comfort zones and see what's happening. What the very best writers and artists and academics have been doing with queer and gender. I can't expect this. I mean, all of us, old and young, have gone through shit. And in some ways are survivors and entitled to a peaceful afternoon in the park. But a girl can wish that more elders would try. When you've, you know, you've went to the doctor, you've went to the mountain, you've looked to the children, you've drank from the fountain. <laughs> That's a lot of traveling. <laughs> but how about visiting a trans event that isn't a Drake King show? How about sharing a little or listening without prejudice? Why not have the courage to actually learn something new? I'd like to see more trans people being closer to fun. Welcomed into dyke and queer circles without either feeling from the inside or the outside the need to conceal and diminish a trans journey that took courage, work, and sacrifice. I'd like to be part of a queer community that doesn't see my being trans as a liability that has to be explained away. You know, what I mean is, it seems sometimes that my choices as a trans woman getting older are to go stealth, to stay a revolutionary, to hang in shiny bars, or always to be on some sort of fringe accepted by my queer friends, but always having to be ready to justify my existence. I'm proud to be trans, but I really don't want to have to organize a candlelight vigil every night to have my identity respected. And it's imperative that we move past the point of having to argue to explain ourselves. One day before quite a few of you, I'm going to be too old, weak, and tired to march and fight. And a little acceptance and maybe some commiseration will offer me the best chance of being safe and out and alive. I don't want to have to worry.